Father, we thank you for this wonderful day. You can speak to us by your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you have the Bible, look at uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 16. 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 1 to 4. 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 1 to 4. Say, now about the collection for God's people, do what I told the uh, Galatian churches to do. On the first day of every week, each one of you should set aside a sum of money in keeping with his income, saving it up, so that when I come to a collection will have to be made. When, then when I arrive, I will give letters of instruction to the man who uh, approve and send them if you give to Jerusalem. If it seems uh, advisable for me to go also, they will accompany me. Now this morning I would like to share with you about the collection for the people of God. Paul, he say, first day of week. What does it mean? First day of the week. Every first day of the week means on Sunday. Sabbath is a Saturday and first of the week is a Sunday. On Sunday, please, when you get them together, have some collection time and save it and keep it. And for me, I will deliver the, this offering to Jerusalem Church and for the work of God. Yeah, this is very important. Uh, Many people ask the question, why we don't keep the Sabbath? Sabbath is a Saturday. Why we do it on Sunday? But um, early church 
disciples are gathering together on the fourth day of the week, which is a Sunday, gathering together. Also, Jesus is raised up from the dead on the fourth uh, day of the week, which is Sunday. Jesus is raised up, and then Jesus is meeting with the disciples and worshiping God. Therefore, when we are uh, meeting together on Sunday, we call the, you know, we perform a creature, we call the Sabbath. So I met one of the seven days Adventist uh, members on the street, they gave the leaflet. Look like a job as it is. They give us a, you know, the leaflet is a, uh, you know, watchtower. The, the job as it is, and they have some leaflet and some magazine they give. So I check it and then I realized that seven days Adventist church, they have meeting, different doctrine. But anyway, on Sunday, on the first day of the every week, each one of you should set aside a sum of money in keeping with uh, his income for correction. And then bless the work of the Lord. Paul, you know, talking about the uh, finance and then um, and tithe and then offering. And then many people even in these days, oh we don't you know, pay the tithe and offer now. This is Old Testament, Malachi chapter 3. Not for us now. But unfortunately, any body speak like that, they are not very generous. You know, according to the Old Testament. This is the Old Testament is the God of the Old Testament. Still, Jesus Christ sent yesterday, today, forever. Same things in the Old Testament. And many scriptures speak about the collection. In coronavirus time, you know how many churches uh, closed down in South Korea? I read a newspaper on the internet news, uh, uh, Christian news. Between five to six thousand churches closed down. Five to six thousand. Around the between five to six thousand. When I was in Korea, I heard four thousand church closed down around the two and a half months, three months ago. 4,000 church closed down, but now almost uh, between five to 6,000 churches uh, closed down. Because of what? Finance. The congregation, especially small church, yeah, small church, the congregation, not possible to come to church. And then, you know, and they don't know how to send the offering by internet. And then they don't meet. And then, uh, they couldn't pay the rent of their, uh, their the church hall and they closed down. So many churches, I don't think so not only in Korea, but many churches all over the world, UK, Africa, uh, you know, Asia, and South America, not every church is affected. As you will see, there are many churches, uh, many, many the villages uh, closed down on the high street. And this is happening in the last day. That is why Hebrew chapter 10 verse 25 say, I mean, don't give up the meeting together in the last day. In the last day, some people have the habit not come to meeting together. You're going to see more people start to come to church. And yesterday I met one guy and then they used to have 30 members in that was there, in, in down, down the high street. And then now reduce, reduce and <laughs> almost scattered. The churches uh, through the COVID, COVID time. Now, churches are almost so, so empty now. What he said to me yesterday. You know, not only the church, but all over the world now. In America, you know what I heard? Uh, the mega church, over, over 5,000 members. Mega church, big, big, you know, uh, the main Sunday you know, chapel hall. Big, big hall. Of two thousand six, but you know this pastor and the leadership they don't change the they don't change the event and pamphlet why? Because this congregation do you know what they do? Average to come to church eh, among the five Sundays, among the five Sundays and they just the ones they attend the service. Can you imagine? Five Sundays they don't go to church. Eh? On, among the five Sundays, they go to the church once in you know, five Sundays. This is a situation in mega church in America, especially in COVID uh, time. But 
Paul in current congregation, the Corinthian church, please uh, make sure each one of you should set aside some of money. Why you set aside some of money? If you don't set aside the money, if you don't separate from your income, from your salary, automatically or easily you can spend the money for your expenses or whatever you need. I know. I know. Therefore, separate. Separate from the beginning. When you collect the, some offering, in this day, you send by internet or whatever, you can remove it from that offering, from that money, make it offering for for the work of the law. And then Paul saying, you know, we know the description, Philippians chapter 4, Philippians chapter 4 verse 19, Paul say about the, the congregation of Philippian Christian. You know, I look at the um, verse 4, chapter 4 verse 14, chapter 4 verse Verse 14, yet it was good of you to share in my troubles. Moreover, as you Philippians know, in the early days of your uh, acquaintance with the gospel, when I set out from Macedonia, not one of the church shared with me in the matter of giving and receiving, except you only. Do you know, Philippian church is a very good church. Why? They know how to give, how to receive. It's very important. To give and receive. Well done, you Philippian church. Paul say, actually, actually, first church in Europe, Philippian church, uh, to Lydia. Lydia opened her house, opened the church. And verse 16, for even when I was in Thessalonica, you sent me aid again and again when I was in need. You see, you know, Thessalonica and the Philippi. Uh, around the um, around the five hours journey, four five hours journey, long journey. But when he was working in Thessalonica, Philippian church supporting Paul, uh, Apostle Paul, and then um, verse seven, sorry seventeen, uh, Philippian chapter four verse seventeen said, "Not that I am looking for a gift, but I am looking for what may be credited to your account." You see, I don't look for your gift. I don't look for your gift. It's good for you, actually. What you say, good for you. I have received full payment and even more. I am uh, employed, supplied, and now that I have received from uh, Epidonia, Ep Ep the gift you sent, they are pregnant, uh, pregnant uh, offering all acceptable and sacrifice uh, pleasing to God, you see. So like a perfume you offering, and your offering is like your acceptable sacrifice, or your offering pleasing to God. Well done. And he speak like this, and my God, he said, not this our God, he said, my God, because of Paul and God, they have special relationship. He said, my God will meet all your need according to his glorious riches in Christ Jesus. And to our God and Father be glory forever and ever. Amen. He speak. You see, he encouraged the Philippian Christian, the church, you do very well. You please in God. It's acceptable sacrifice. It's like a beautiful smell. Yeah? Beautiful perfume. Beautiful. Well done. You please in God. And my God supply for all your need according to you know, his riches in Christ Jesus. Uh, last week I went to Birmingham, you know, we collected some offering and bless uh, uh, Pastor B. He was so happy. And then thanks to because some Korean missionary also went to him and encouraged him with some offering and his blessing. This is a pleasing to God. And uh, we still pray to God to raise up you know, enough offering to buy the mini bus for him and then to get a home as well before the, um, before the offering service of uh, the Birmingham Shepherd Church. We are going to have uh, the opening service on the 18th of December 2021. So now we have around, the, you know, around two months time now. 
Oh, within two months time, we love to see the uh, His grace and the mercy in Birmingham, and uh, all these things. And then you know, the kingdom of God can, is so powerful. We know that. But do you know that Jesus speak uh, about the money more than kingdom of God? <laughs> Very interesting. Why Jesus say, you know, there's two master in this world, money and God, God of Israel. Therefore, you know, money is so powerful, very powerful. Money speak. Do you know what does it mean? Money speak. <laughs> um, do you know, money speak. Yeah, this is a leather, leather, human books. And then one of one of our, our brother, he is in now in America. He told me, Pastor Paul, I would like to buy the human books. And okay, I can buy. And then I was in Korea. He asked me to buy. I was searching and I went to many bookshops. He said to me, you know, that is a much better. You can use it for like a lifetime. <laughs> it's a paper or some other material. That is a real letter. This is a real letter. Can you buy a real letter one? Okay. Uh, I bought it 20 copies of this letter. Uh, some uh, book. This book is still new. You see it for two years. More than two years, but it still looks like a uh, brand new. Why? Because of quality. And then, what? What? Why I say like this? Because he spent more money <laughs> than and then then you know some other material. He spent more money for this one, and that, that is why we say it's money speak. But can I encourage you? According to the scripture, Paul say, "Well done, you Corinthian church." Even Corinthian church, make sure. First day of every week, you can collect it for the work of God. Uh, I believe that when the Holy Spirit come upon you powerfully, you have full of the Holy Spirit, you become a generous giver. You can give and give joyfully, joyfully, voluntarily, willingly. Because no problem, Christ Jesus lives inside of you. I believe that today uh, you may receive that. Uh, this amazing uh, blessing is abundant blessing, abundant blessing. Give is more blessed than receive. <laughs> Even you give is, uh, you know, how wonderful when you give. There's a many joy inside of you. Of course, when you receive it, uh, you, you receive the amazing blessing. You know, by the grace of God, our London Shepherd Church, we give the 10 kilos of rice for uh, Korean missionary. I think minimum two times per year or sometimes three times per year. And then I think up to now we distribute uh, rice uh, over 20 years, over 4,000 uh, bags of uh, 10 kilos of rice. And all our congregations are so happy to serve you somebody. And then a few days last Saturday, some of my friend, uh, my friend uh, gave the 20 kilos of rice for every Korean mission, around the 50 Korean missionary. And I received 20 kilos. I was very excited. <laughs> I received 20 kilos. And God spoke to me using this one for the missionary in, 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 in Birmingham. I just did. You know, when you receive it, so exciting. Very good. But give is more, more exciting, more happier, more joyful than to receive. You never know, try. <laughs> you can do it. There. It's wonderful, wonderful. But Paul said, Who for you, Corinthian church? Well done, Philippine church. He is look like the uh, like the middleman connection. He receives something from here to release others. When I was uh, the police, when I was police in Seoul, Korea, many, many years ago, I was in the middle of the street. Uh, I arranged. <laughs> Like the, all the cars from here to there, I stop it, and from here to there, like, like the, all these things. You know, I mean, I felt like the, that kind of position as a minister. I receive something from there to release to eat this area, drawing this area. It's, it's very exciting uh, and to do it. Paul, Paul, his job like this, he received it from Corinthian church, received it from Philippine church, released to Jerusalem church, released other. Uh, churches in Korean or wherever where you go. 
this wonderful, wonderful uh, gift. And um, I encourage you, you can do it also. No, 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 Pastor Paul, not only me, only you know, Paul, song, or me. You can do it. You can do it. You know, you receive some, you pray to God. And then you minister. Last year, I was praying, Lord, help me. Our branch churches in Africa are suffering, terribly suffering because of the uh, uh, not enough food. And when, you know, we have uh, orphanage. We have the one, one meal in three days. We have the children have one meal in three days. It's not easy. Pray, pray. By the way, as of now, we raise over 50,000 US dollars. 50, I do over 40,000 pounds. We send offering to many churches in, in Africa. Only by the grace of the Lord. Not from me, it's from God. As I just kneel down, I was praying. And pray, Lord, you can use me to release the um, you know, fund to bless others here and there. And you can do it like this man, uh, Apostle Paul. He say, it's good for you. Each, each one of you should set aside a sum of money and keep it. With your income. Why? For the work of the Lord. Let's pray. Father, help us. And um, you made heaven and earth. You gave us uh, uh, your begotten son, Jesus. When God gave us the best gift, who is the Savior of the world, Jesus Christ. And He can give us anything. Lord, as God's DNA is a giving DNA, He has got a giving DNA. Would you give us a your DNA, giving DNA. You can give and give and give. Give is more blessed than to receive. Lord, help us to give and bless others. Thanks be to God. Paul encouraged the uh, Corinthian church. Please, uh, each one of you, please keep the, uh, your some money and on the first, first day of the week, which is Sunday. And I come there, I'll collect it to support the work of God. Father God, help us to do it for your glory. We, we pray not only um, uh, just uh, collect the money for ourselves, no. We can collect the money for others, for, for the kingdom of God, like this man of person, Paul. Lord, help us to bless others. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.